Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start in a standing position. I want feet nice and wide. Just roll the shoulders back, open the heart, lengthen the head. We're gonna come into a stable position, bring in the bending into the knees. Check in with those toes. Make sure the knees line up. You're gonna hold it here, and you're gonna bring your arms in, and little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Arms out, in, two, in, out, in. Draw into that breath. And five, bringing it up. Bringing your feet right under you, take a step forward. Again, relax the shoulders, heart is open. We're gonna take a nice long step. Reach through that back leg. Keep that front knee in line with the toe. Bring the hands back behind the back. Open the chest, get a stretch. Breathe into the core. Inhale, release. Bring the arms up to the ceiling. Hold it here. Back down in front. Roll the shoulders back. Open the heart, draw into the abs. Inhale, step forward. Reconnect both feet again. Okay, find the grounding. Find the even position. Reach back through that back leg. Again, reach through it. Keep that front leg nice and strong. Again, we're going to bring the arms back. Open up the heart, eyes up, take a nice breath in, breathe into that hip, slowly release, arms come to the ceiling, and coming forward. Shoulders roll back. We're going to take a step back to the edge of the mat. Now we're going to line our feet up. We're going to bring our hands by our side, shoulders back, drop into a squat, curl, and press and down. You have weights, add your weights. Two, exhale up. Here's six. Here's 12, bring it in. Good, bring the feet apart. We're gonna rotate and up. Rotate, soft knees, feel that torso rotate, and pull. Reach over and pull. Here's three, draw that core in. Last one, and coming up. Feet under you. We're gonna come into a nice quick movement with the feet and the legs. Pick it up, pick it up. Fast pace. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Feet flat. Walk it out into plank. Go into your push up. Bring it back. And up and down and push up, and walk it back, and up, and walk it out, and up. Okay, now we're gonna pick it up. Take a step forward, shoulders back, going into the round of burpees. Jump it back, and press, and up, and down. There's two. Drive the pelvis up. One more for six. And bring it in. Whew. Bring your breath back into the control. Good. Now I'm gonna add a little weight for this next set. Again, we're gonna to come to that first exercise. Shoulders back. Reconnect. 
connect the breath, drop into that nice wide sumo lunge, so, squat, sorry, and arms up and down. Swing those arms. Here's 10 and five. Four, three, two, one. Bring it out. Rotate. Two. Keep it nice and connected. Three. One more to each side for four. Add that in. Good. Reconnect the legs. We're going to go into the next one. Okay, find your heart open. Take a step back. Nice and long lunge. Arm out forward, square the shoulders, and row. Eight, keep that leg nice and strong. And 10. Step it together. Good. Reconnect. Switch it out. Bring it back. Arm out front. Open it up. And pull. Again, if you don't have weight, use that muscle connection to draw that back into play. Keep nice and long through that back leg. Last one for 10. And bring it in. Dumbbell down, shoulders back, feet up. Quick feet, control that breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, step it forward. We're gonna go right into those burpees. We did six last time. Find your breath, and we're gonna do eight this time. And out. Here's three. Stay strong, and eight. Woo, grab a quick drink of water. Woo. Feels good. Okay, bring it back into your control. Hand to opposite hip, square the shoulders. Again, without the weight, do the movement. Slow through the movement to create that muscle memory. Elbow pulls and down, across. Here's eight, two more for 10. And switch it out. Square the shoulders, abs drawn in, and eight here, 10. Head is long. And 10. Good, coming up. Find your squat position. Dumbbell up at chest line. Drop into a squat with a press. Push into the feet. Flow through that movement. Good. 
One more. And bring it in. Woo! Okay. Okay, round three. Nice wide position, heart is open, throat, head, neck is long. Drop in little pulses this set. Draw that core in. And hold. And up and down. Find that control. Get that muscle memory connected. Draw that breath into your control. Tighten the core. One more here. And bring it down. Woo! Okay. Reconnect. Back into those lunges. Lunge hold. Step it back. Reach you that leg. Arm out front. And pull. Feel that shoulder girdle retract into the spine, drawn in from the muscles. Draw that core in. Two more here. And feet together. Reconnect, switch it out. Step it back, reach through the back leg. Open up, arm forward and pull. Here's eight, two more. And 10. Set the weight down. Open up the heart. Quick feet. Make it smooth. Feel the ball of the foot. Coming back and forward. Back and forward. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Going into the next set, burpees. Feet lined up. Four more. Last one. Woo! Nice round. Okay, grab a quick drink of water. Catch a breath. Snap, crack, and pop. Okay, coming onto your floor, your kneeling position. Bring the breath back into your control. Open up the heart, head is long. Arm comes to the opposite hip. Don't let that shoulder forward or creep up. Keep it locked in and pull. Here's 10, two more for 12. Good, switch it out and pull. Eight, nine, no slack. Last two. And coming up. Stand up, feet in squat position, shoulders back, weight to chest, and press. Okay. 
Good, reconnect that breath. Two more, 14 and 15. Woo, nice. Okay, mix it up a little. We're gonna come to our forearm now. Okay, hand and fist with the tripod. Bring your breath back into your control. Up off the knees and hold. Don't let the hips drop, stay nice and strong up top. Again, drive that force from the core. Make it work. No slack. Deep connection, not in your back. Hips to the mat. Arms come out front. Nice and long. Up and down. Nice and controlled. Do not drop the body into the floor. Slow on the down. Hold it up. Hands rotate. Pinkies lead to the hips. Open up the chest. Arms forward. Rotate. Palms face each other. Right into swimming. Kick those legs. Five, four, three, two, one and down. Coming up onto all fours, hands under shoulders. One arm out, open up. Exhale down and across to thread a needle. We're not collapsing and stretching into the floor. We're articulating that spine, connecting those obliques, connecting those up, all the abs. One more here. Hands to the mat, nice and strong, reconnect. Opposite arm out, open up, down and across. If your breath is too fast for right now, slow it down, deeper breaths to make the movement flow with the breath. Last one. And hands back to the mat. Elbows into the floor. Bring it back into plank. One leg up. Bend the knee. Knee to the floor. Press it to the ceiling with that foot. One more here. Feet together. Other leg up. Bend the knee. See that sole? Down and up. Tap with that knee. Feet together, hips to the mat, arms out front, palms, pinkies to the floor. Float it up and down. Feel the pubis bone and hips working into the floor together. Hold it up, rotate the palms down, bring them back to your hips to open up the chest. Shoulders like to come up. Reach them back, open the chest. Arms come forward, nice and long. Rotate, right into swimming. Kick those legs and arms. Swim, 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 swim. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Press back into a child's pose. up. Okay, I'm going to switch my mat out. Okay, 
Now we're gonna to come to your back. Press into the hands. Hips square, shoulders into the floor. Hips up and down. Connect those glutes and hammies. Open those hips up. Use everything to stabilize. Eyes to the ceiling. Legs inner and outer working together. Five more. Here's two, and one, hold, five, four, three, two, hips down, feet to tabletop, hands on the outsides of the knees, head can stay down, exhale, fold your head up, out and in for double leg stretch. And six, hands behind the head. One leg straight, rotate to the opposite knee. And switch it out, reach that straight leg. Draw that core in. And bring it in, hands by your side. Bring it into the floor. Okay. Now we're gonna come onto your side. Legs forward. You can bring them to the front edge of your mat or you can bring them more. Keep those reaching through the heels. Top leg hovers forward and swing it back. It's natural for the spine to move. So our goal here is to keep that spine from moving by isolating the core. One more to the back, and feet together. Top leg up and down. Press into that bottom leg, pull those abs up. Feet together, externally rotate, up and down. Feet together, top leg up, little circles. And switch direction. And feet together. Bend the knees in. And open clam. Now feet off. Elevated clam. And rest. Coming to the other side. Sorry for my short narrow video. I haven't really mastered how what the perfect spot is. Reach to the heels. Keep those hips stacked. Shoulders back. Top leg hovers. Swing it forward and back. One more to the front. One more to the back. Legs together. Top leg up and down. Externally rotate, up and down. Feet together, reconnect. Again, check in, scan the body. Top leg hovers, circle that leg. And switch direction. And feet together, bend the knees in, feet to the floor for the first round. Open and close. Draw that navel to spine connection. Feet up, elevated clam. Good. Okay, let's come up. I'm gonna switch it out, a little more room on this side. You want to be on all fours. You're going to float one leg up and tap that knee. Pause here. It's natural for the hip to want to roll or drop. Our goal is to keep it neutral. Isolating the glutes, hammies, 
and that hip flexor. Good, feet back together, abs drawn up, other leg up and down. See, you can see where my hip wants to move. So it might be a little less range on one side to the other. Press that sole of the foot into the ceiling. Feel both arms working together. Good. And knees down. Press into the hands, hips come up. Feel a nice downward dog stretch. Now little shoulder presses. Isolate just the shoulder. Staying in that downward dog position for the movement. Bending those elbows. Forehead reaches to the floor. And four, three, two, and one. Knees to the mat. And sit back into a child's pose. Reach it out nice and long. And coming up. Okay, there's another video. Have a wonderful night. And hope to see you soon. So stay well, stay strong, and tune into the next one. Cheers.